Now, let's take a quick look at what to do in multiple choice tests. We know multiple choice tests can be challenging. So let's review some strategies to try and help overcome some of the common challenges students face when answering multiple choice questions. A common challenge is relying on recognition memory, thinking you're going to recognize the answer when you see it. The most common mistake will also be an option. Covering the answers with your hand and coming up with the answer on your own without reading the available options is the first strategy. There is always the possibility and challenge of having more than one right answer. The example of A, B, A and B, or all of the above, the question is asking you to follow which answers are true and false. Going through each possible answer and writing down true or false beside each option will help you determine what is the correct answer to that question. Another common challenge is tricky wording or misreading what's being asked. As you're reading through each question, underline keywords. Look for negatives and qualifiers. Words like not, always, never, or sometimes. Try rephrasing the question in your own words to see if it makes sense. If it does, you're probably right. If it doesn't, you might need to look back at your options. Another common challenge is that exams are always written in a time crunch. So make sure you pace yourself. Look ahead and look through your test to see how many questions are on the test so you know roughly how much time you have per question. When you get stuck on a question, circle it and come back to it later. You may find that something else on the test later helps you remember how to answer a missed question. Another common challenge for students writing multiple choice tests is your mind going blank when you stare at the midterm or a particular question. If this happens to you, try using a memory dump. A memory dump is where you spend the first few minutes of a test writing out everything you can remember studying, or the top 10 things that you had trouble with. Essentially, you need to create your own cheat sheet before reading any questions on the test. This may come in handy when you actually write the test. If this is something you know happens to you, creating this cheat sheet with the top 10 things you know you're going to forget can be really helpful when you're preparing for a test. If you find your mind goes blank, you could be panicking. So making sure that you're focusing on your breathing for a few minutes to try and calm down. Something that also helps many students is to write out what is worrying you, so you can free up your working memory space for midterm content. Another common challenge is that you don't understand what is being asked by a question. If you're not sure what the question is asking, ask yourself where in the course the ideas or concepts in the question are coming from. Sometimes, if you can identify other content taught around the same time, you might be able to remember something that helps answer that question. If you are stuck, star it, move on, and be sure to come back to it later. Sometimes, when you come across an answer that might seem right, you might want to change your answer. Changing your answer can be okay, as long as you can justify yourself why you are changing it. And lastly, make sure to go back over your test and the answers you've answered to make sure that you have not left any of them blank. The worst case scenario is you take an educated guess for an extra mark.